Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nerds video series on C++ and this is another video where we'll see how to optimize string, I mean string class in C++. So before this video I have explained about a string view. This is also one of the class. This is like a view to your already constructed string. This I have explained in my previous video. You will see this link somewhere here to watch this. This is really very cool. I mean this has different aspects of learning and today we'll talk about this small string optimization. What is this small string optimization? So basically you know that if you create string object like string s is equal to you just put some string here right. So you are creating this string object s and this is causing a heap allocation and we know that heap allocation is like very costly. I'm not saying that it is really very bad. No, it has its own advantages. But the problem is, is not that simple. Like there are so many level of calling to actually get the memory from the pool. And then you have to return. And then basically, it goes to the actual caller. So there are so many things involved that makes this heap allocation little costly. But now the biggest question is like, is it always that heavy? Meaning, do you really have to go to heap for allocating? Let's suppose if I'm just telling you, create a string object with just four characters or five characters like CPP nuts. Maybe here it is just like CPP nuts. It's just five characters, right? Maybe I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven characters, right? But for this much small string, do you really think you should go and ask heap? I don't think. And neither C++ standard is also happy with this. No, they don't like this. So the actual optimization what I'm going to discuss is if your string size whatever you are constructing here like this is limited to some constant number meaning maybe for my Mac I just tested it is like maybe 25 characters if your string is more than 25 characters then only it will go to heap and get the memory otherwise it takes from the static buffer available in string classes for my system it is 25 it is possible that for your compiler and your system it may be little less or more you have to test that and i'll show you with the proof that it is really going to the heap okay don't go anywhere after just listening this that if it is like some constant number and if it exceeds that number then it will go to heap and it won't otherwise if it is less no let's see with examples so we know that this is your string and it is initialized with hello, this is CPP nuts. How many characters are there? Let me just count. So there are totally 28 characters. And I told you, if it is greater than 25, then only it will go and ask from heap. Otherwise, this is statically created. So in order to prove that, I have to overload new operator. So in C++, if somebody is asking heap memory, then they have to call new, right? So if I will overload this operator, then in that case, I can get that call here. So let me just simply do that. Now our function is ready. Operator new is overloaded. Now if this string is actually causing memory heap call, then we should get this allocated heap message. Let me just compile this. And if we run this, see, we are getting allocated heap, meaning it is actually allocating. We are not printing anything here. We're just printing this allocated heap. And this new operator is called from this string class to get the memory for this. Okay. This is clear, right? Now let me just remove something or some strings or some characters from here. Let me just do this and recompile and execute it. Okay, see, this is not printing anything. So let's just quickly see what is the length. So the length is like 22. I told you it is 25, but maybe that was wrong calculation. I am getting 22 in my system. You may get something else. But the point is, see guys, now it is not calling heap. And when I say count, these spaces are also counted, okay? So don't just miscalculate in spaces. They are also characters. So next time if you do something with the string, you will have two things in your mind. First is string view. If you just want to have different views on a string, you don't want to actually change the string, then you will go and use string view because that is really very fast. And second thing is about string is, you know that if the length of the string is smaller, then in that case, it won't go to the heap allocation. So that way you can save a little 
time. If you didn't know this, then this video deserves a like and you can subscribe if you want to get interesting videos like this daily. So thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care.